we have a conversation on Galam Singh, illegal mining, because it was topical at uh, the Ghana Bar Association Bar Conference opening today. A number of the speakers had a thing or two to say about illegal mining. Talk with Dr. Nyaho Nyahota Maklo is joining us to have a conversation on this matter. Stay with us. President of the Ghana Bar Association, Yahweh Champon Boafo, has urged the government to intensify its fight against illegal mining, also known as Galamse, by targeting the powerful individuals allegedly fueling the illicit activity in this country. Here's the president of the Bar Association at the 2024 2025 annual general conference in Kumasi. Despite the efforts and assurance of government to deal with the menace, there appears to be a consensus that not much has been done to effectively and roundly deal with it. To be blunt, things are getting worse. As an issue which poses an existential threat to our nation so severe that His Excellency the President put his presidency on the line, unfortunately has degenerated, degenerated into a political football match between the major political parties as to who polluted the water the most. The anecdotal evidence that Galamse is controlled by powerful interests in Ghana cannot be ignored. The state must be honest and deal with the real powers behind this menace. Well, but the Attorney General has highlighted the, the strides made by government in the fight against Galamse and talking about a number of cases running and some of the persons who have been also uh, convicted as a result of the fight against illegal mining. He spoke at the bar conference opening as well. Take a look. From August 2021 to date, at least 76 persons, including 18 foreigners, have been convicted. Most of the convicts were sentenced under the new law at 995 to a minimum of 15 years plus a hefty fine for a non ghanaian Currently, over 140 cases of illegal mining involving over 850 accused persons have been prosecuted in court in the western, eastern Ashanti greater and upper east regions of Ghana. Some are near conclusion, which have kept the nation safe and sound. Well, that's the Attorney General, uh, Godfrey Yabo Adame there. And now let's say a bit further on this matter. Um, Togbi Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo is a founding member of the New Patriotic Party and also uh, one that is a passionate Ghanaian statement for that matter. He's joining us on, on Zoom. Uh, Togbi, I appreciate your time. Thank you for staying up to join us here on Ghana tonight. First of all, I mean, you, you, you heard the president of the Ghana Bar Association speak there, talking about the state being honest and sincere about the fight against illegal mining and going beyond just arresting these people in the forest and identifying the financiers of this illegal trade that we are seeing right now. How does that strike you? Well, um, I'm glad that uh, Ghana Bar Association made mention of that. I think the president also, in uh, reading his uh, message, made mention of that. And I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. Now, I can assure you that if um, we find a report of Professor Frimpon Boatin, every detail of what is happening in the country or what happened concerning this Kalamse will be there. Because he mentioned a lot of people, including Ochiridako and many others I can't remember now. So what the Bar Association said is very correct. Then we, are, we still don't know the truth. And uh, these uh, findings of Professor Fimbom Boateng has been on the deck of, uh, of the president close to three years now. And that is amazing. Indeed, listening to his speech, I didn't really listen to his speech fully, but um, I don't think he made mention of uh, of uh, the Garamse at all in all that he said. He was, he was most of the time talking about himself and how his party has uh, has uh, done well. So I think Fripon Watin's report is what really 
we need. Mm. And that when properly looked through, will let us know those behind this galamse and uh, and those who are, have made it impossible for the police and the military to come out with the people. And, and Toby, you, you make a point earlier, even though the president was giving a theme to speak to at, the, at this opening of the bar conference, we heard him talk about other things as well that are not directly related to the theme. And to that extent, you're expecting that he should have also touched on illegal mining because the attorney general and the president of the bar association had already spoken about it at this same venue, the same platform? Another issues. I think a lot of what he said really was about himself. And uh, what even amazed me when uh, he said that people have been thinking that uh, he himself and his family are corrupt. I mean, I mean it's amazing. I mean, we all know what is happening in the country. You see, this sort of thing must stop now. We are, we, we are not uh, infants. You, you follow me? This sort of thing must stop. A, cha a chairman, a regional chairman of a political party who is involved deeply in this, and that is known to everyone. Yet the president comes out to deny or defend the person. I mean, I can't, I can't understand it. I really can't understand these things. And the person, as we talk now, is mining continuously. A regional chairman of a party. So, so are other other ministers of state whose names have been mentioned, including some, some of them are now even contesting to be members of parliament. People whose names have been mentioned. I mean, this is this is this is off. This is awful. So, as a nation, I don't know where, where, what what we must do now. As, but, but I believe strongly that uh, we must be above partisanship. That is the first thing. Every Ghanaian must be above partisanship. And then uh, also, we must try and defend our constitution. Very important. That's one thing we are not doing. And if, if we are able to defend our constitution, we can stand strongly a dictatorship. Now, we must be above partisanship. We must be above, completely above partisanship. And we must be courageous. These are things that I think we need to be able to, you know, get them properly. And then uh, um, at the moment, as I see, my party, what the young ones are looking for, it's nothing than greed and avarice. That's what is there now, you know. There, there's this strong desire, you know, strong desire, you know, for money and possession, which I don't understand. Strong desire for money and possession. And that is what is happening. And you have a leader who is not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. To the extent that a whole minister is saying with millions of dollars and cities, in the house, and the monies have been given to her back by the courts. I, I can't understand. It. Now, how how do you say you have you are going to fight? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, corruption. It's impossible. You can't fight corruption. You can't. Which for those who have all along been deceiving us. See, and you have just about three minutes to stay in power. And, and, and Dr. Now, Tawanglu, you make the point that the, the Ghana forces on any day would have halted Galamse, but they have been involved in the fight previously. So, really, what would have been new? Yeah, the armed forces, I believe strongly, if given the uh, if, if ordered, uh, that's that the right way to if ordered. And giving a tax would definitely, definitely be able to 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 to, to achieve that, and um, that definitely will have to come in the democracy. That will have to come to the commander in chief. But the moment he gives those directives to the to to the army top hierarchy, they would definitely 
go by their own methods of solving, solving problems. And I can assure you that within a week, the military can stop this. They can stop it. They can stop it entirely. Because I think first and foremost, there must be a total ban on this mine. It, it, it should stop completely. And I think after that, they will know what to do. The military will know how to handle this situation. After all, they were there, I think, years ago, and unfortunately, one of the officers, one Mahama, Major Mahama, died. It was very sad. You follow me? If they have been given the mandate now, and I'm even saying that they, they should name their operation as Operation Save the Environment slash Save Ghana. So and when they go there, they know that they are going to save the country. Save the country. Because day in and day out, we are seeing what is happening. I mean, there are a lot of deformities now. When when uh, children are born, we see it, and a lot of other other things happen. You follow me? And this, this are, these are really dangerous. If we, we allow them to continue, and then we, we really want to destroy this country totally. That is, we are getting close to that now. That's what I see. We are getting close to that. So the military really, if we want to stop Galam, say, mm -hmm. must be given that directives. They mm -hmm. will go to the areas they have the, the, the material and the means to do that. Right. And I can assure you, within one week, all this this book will disappear from the from the various uh, okay. uh, what do you call it uh, uh, forests and uh, you can say areas. They will. The military will make sure. I can assure you. Now somebody will say when they live there. No, they know how to handle certain things. Mm -hmm. That when they are there, they will make sure that nobody will come there when they they are no more there. They will make sure about that. But I think that that is what we should look at, right? Because even for doctors and nurses now to come out, to, to I won't call it a threat, but to come out to say openly that the government is not doing anything about it, they will advise themselves. They, if they tell you, they definitely they want to put their tools down. Indeed, and in fact, UTAG is the latest joining there. Talk with Dr. Nyawo Nyawo Tamaklo. Make that demand for decisive action by government to halt illegal mining across the country. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really do appreciate you staying up um, to join us here on Ghana tonight. Dr. Togbi, Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo is a state man and also um, a founding member of the new Petrote Party, a former military officer for that month as well. I, I do appreciate your time here on Ghana tonight. Thank you so much.